Hello YouTube. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys noticed this uh, piston pump on top of my desk. It's been there forever and it's almost in every every video I make. Uh, piston pump are very versatile. Uh, you can't change the motor on it. You can use a DC motor or 110 volt like it is on not right now. And uh, if needed be, well you can even put a bicycle or even turn uh, the wheel by hand, put a handle and turn the wheel by hand. Uh, these pump will pump no matter how fast they're turning. So uh, if you're uh, if you're a prepper, a prepper, or uh, if you have a homestead, you should have a pump like that and know how to repair it if need be. It's very simple, and uh, that's what I'm be be doing today. First thing is you got this is your water intake and water comes out here very simple pumps uh, this part here is probably the one that's going to give you the hardest time it covers the piston this is the plate that covers the piston this boat probably not a problem this one if at least a little bit probably uh, it's going to be rusted solid and you'll break it like I did on this one that's why it's not the same so what I did was uh, I uh, drill and retap one size bigger it uh, worked for me now remove this And here is the hole for the piston. Now I'll put the camera on the tripod and start working on it. Okay, now to remove the uh, piston from uh, where it's supposed to be, turn the turn the wheel here until the piston comes as close as possible to. To the to our top of it, big screwdriver, shove it in, and 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 just twist the piston out and tread it. And it is very tight. An old piston will probably be very easy to to come out because it will be worn down. Not this one. Very long screw. Okay, needle nose, and take the piston out. Now, okay, I already replaced uh, this uh, piston. These are letter uh, letter cups. Okay, I'll put it back. And uh, always good to uh, use plumber's grease on these here before installing them 
or let them soak in uh, oil, some kind of oil, and uh, it won't be too too bad. No trick is putting it back. I'll put it back and uh, be back with the next step. Okay. Once you replace the piston, you put back the piston, you put the piston back in place. I'm gonna get it right. Now reinstall this plate at the end. Uh, I redid the gasket. Now good idea at this time to uh, put some uh, anti seize compound on your uh, on your bolts so that you don't have the same problem I had of seized up bolts. If you buy a new pump, uh, I recommend that you uh, I recommend that you take the uh, pump parts and uh, put NTC compound on these two, uh, especially on these two bolts. They are the one that's gonna give you the hardest time when it comes to take it apart. Okay, put these uh, two in, and uh, I'll be right back. So the next thing you want to do is, uh, once the bottom plate is back in its place, is uh, this part here. Uh, this is a high pressure uh, relief valve. Uh, let's see, looking for... That's your water coming out. Yeah, I got four bolts. I got lucky on this one. The bolts are brass, so... Did not seize. Now I remember if you have a little uh, pipe here that connects to your pressure switch, don't forget to remove it. Now this should come straight out. I'll just put these. Uh, bolts aside. Now you have a gasket right there. This gasket here probably going to be ruined. That's okay. Just remove it. And this is what it looks like inside. Now this plate is usually made out of plastic. We got two uh, check valves made out of rubber. These going to be replaced. This going to be replaced. And we got to remove the plastic plate. Don't worry about the gasket, it comes with the kit. And underneath is okay. This is what you have you have two other check valves. Water comes in here, goes underneath to the first check valve. Second here, okay. Just make sure you put everything back the way you, you found it. 
and these check valves and spring is going to be replaced too. So let me do a little bit of cleanup while I'm at it and replace those two. Uh, and then there's a gasket here that's going to be remove and replace. Now in a kit usually you get those two gasket and enough check valves and spring to replace the whole the whole thing. Replace everything that you need. Now it's a good time to buy those since the kits are easily found and old one was is easy to repair and bring back to life. Uh, I'll do some cleanup and uh, show you the assembly. Okay, once you clean both face, all the faces where the gaskets are going to be, uh, time to uh, remove and replace the check valves. Very easy to do. Needle nose, and most of the time, just those little clips will just break apart like these. There we go. Just make sure that these are uh, flat, that there's no damage to them. These little grooves are supposed to be there. Just in case somebody's wondering, just see here. Those little grooves right there. They're supposed to be there, so it's not damaged. And also, yeah, remove the two in the pump. Same thing, just look inside, make sure that there's no uh, excessive wear inside. These will come off. Uh, just uh, what I have, where's my paint? Scraper. Just remove the excess rust that accumulate over the years. Don't, don't need to overdo it, just remove the most that you can't see. And That's it, just vacuum out whatever's left. Now, replacing putting the new one, make sure that this will seal. Just put a new rubber. Washer, a new spring, a new washer, and a new powder pin. And that's it. I'll do the uh, the other four gasket. Uh, so, I mean check valve rubber rubber valves and I'll be right back well now that I have the right gaskets 
These are the gasket for that pump. Can put this back together. Gasket here. I did clean all the parts just to be sure that the, everything was uh, was going to seal properly. in line. Okay, let me uh Put this together. We put, we put put this little pipe. Don't forget this little pipe. That's your pressure switch. Back in place. This one here. Let me put that all back together, and I'll uh, I'll be right back. Well. Piston pump is all back together. Well, let's plug it and see what happens. Well, I don't have any major leaks. A little bit of noise. An old piston pump. I have a pretty good flow of water. Now, let me see here. A couple of things. Uh, pressure switch is not working properly, so I'm going to have to look into that. Uh, I already primed it simply because uh, I did not want to do that on camera and because I already blew a gasket <laughs> when I was trying to prime it so uh, pump is working I'll be able to use it next summer to water my garden on my uh, on my uh, rainwater collection system which is going to be better than gravity so a couple of things you need to remember find a good gasket for your pump which I had to wait about a week for. Uh, also, uh, just make sure that uh, everything is uh, in working order and clean it up. Well, if you have any question, comment, or uh, suggestion, leave, uh, leave a message be below. Uh, don't forget that thumbs up and uh, thank you for watching.